In this video, we will use PowerShell to manage system restore points in our system. This is another great opportunity to automate behaviors using PowerShell. Now, before you start, you might want to take a look at the enable computer restore help file or help information, because not everything to do with system restore points has been moved into PowerShell. In fact, it says right here that for some functions, like finding out the state of whether it's turned on or not, you'll have to use rstrui.exe or the restoreui.exe. This is the same UI that's actually launched by the command, the, by the control panel when you go into the system restore dialogues. So not everything is available in PowerShell. It's also not the most consistently named chunk of PowerShell stuff. There's things that refer to res computer restore, restore points, and there's things that refer to checkpoints. Now, checkpoint seems to be the newer terminology that's coming out of Microsoft. Certainly with Hyper-V, you'll hear the term checkpoint taking over from snapshot, and it appears to be coming into some of the system restore stuff as well. If system restore is not enabled on your computer, you will need to turn it on, obviously, before you can take uh, any snapshots. We can also use the get computer restore point to see which restore points exist. I have none set up on this computer right at the moment. And that's so that I can run the checkpoint computer commandlet. A description is required. And we can also specify what type of restore point, the most common ones being application install, application uninstall, or modify settings. And in our most cases, I think modify settings is probably pretty reasonable for PowerShell. So I'm going to go ahead and run this command. And you'll see a pop-up and it goes ahead and does its thing. Now, if we check the existing computer restore points, we'll see that our restore point now shows up in the list right here, ready to go. We can restore to this computer restore point, but you have to specify it by number. So you're going to need to do this to get the number numbers incremented. Since I did some of my testing, it's now at 19. We can also disable computer restores from PowerShell, so we can just turn it off. And remember, they are by drive. So if you have multiple drives, only the drives that are active will allow this to happen. You cannot turn on a drive if the system drive is also not turned on, and you can't turn off the system drive unless you turn all the rest off. Depending on your version of Windows, you may get some quirky behavior. Prior to Windows 8, this was also the mechanism used to create snapshots that could be used for previous versions of files. It was very useful for PowerShell. That's not in the Windows 8 GUI anymore. You have to actually go into the VSS APIs to do that in code. That's a little bit messy. So you can take a look at file history instead if you like. The other thing, which is a Windows 8 oddity, um, and every once in a while, Microsoft does something and I don't understand why. If we try to make another restore point because we're going to do something else in the system now, we get a warning that we can't create another system restore point because we've done that today. We've hit our quota. You can actually create one from the GUI, from control panel, but not from PowerShell. PowerShell and other command line tools are limited to creating one a day. And if you read up on that, it's just something that's introduced in Windows 8. I'm not sure why. So that will be a significant difference between whether you're running your script on Windows 8 or on Windows 7. Uh, and now, because I've done that one from the control panel, if I, if I run get computer restore point again, I will see there is the one that I just created. And the restore point type of 16 uh, is one that's manually created. I don't know why they didn't give it a name either, but the one that's manually created from the control panel. So there you have it. Some of the ways you can manage restore points within PowerShell on your computer system.